Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate 2. Uh, I just realized the audio is a little bit high, so I'm just turning this down a little bit right here. There we go. Whoop. No, I don't want to exit. There we go. Ah, that's better. Alright, so um, welcome to uh, this Let's Play of Hand of Fate 2. Um, as you can see, there's some tokens flying in the air. Reason for this very simple: we there's been a DLC released uh, between um, this recording and the last one. So uh, yeah, gonna get a new uh, type, unit type, and some uh, and, and a new uh, companion, I believe, which you uh, can't unlock that easily. But uh, yeah, let's get going. So yeah, new challenge is awaiting the challenge map, and that's the servant, and that's. Uh, an adventure. And should a beast have entered the realm through a, a friend a fiend in need even. And a peasant's son. There we go. And we have a new endless token. Which is Shadow Beast now stalk the land in endless adventures. So Shadow Games is, has been added. Eight allies and allied in uh, blah, endless adventures, so Apparently, there's some more stuff there. Not entirely sure that works. <laughs> anyway, uh, hanging man, uh, hang man's the last thing we finished. Mm. So yeah, as you can see here in adventure mode, there is uh, a new event. Uh, this unlocks the new companion. So you have this one and this one. I don't know what that, those are. I haven't played those yet. Um, right. So what are we going to do? Um, yeah, we're going to do death. And after that we're going to move back, basically. Since this means... Oh no, wait. One, two, three. No, I don't want to go three ahead, right? So... Is that it? Two, three. You see, I'm going to redo these... Um, what should I? I can't remember what I was planning to do last time. I think I was planning to go back for a little bit, do the charity again. Just so we don't get ahead of us or ourselves too quickly. Does that make sense? Uh, I think it does. The reason is I really want to get the alchemist done. This is not really a good place for it, but let's go. Let's do the charity again. So uh, let's see if we can unlock that one. Well, then we'll do strength. Oops, sorry. Now we'll do strength and the wheel, justice and so on get to the end. Alright, let's go. Share it. So we have some options. Um, right, so as you can see the shadow complete the servant to unlock. And that's uh, the last one. So there's a few options. Um, I think I'm going for the trickster because I want to see if I can get the alchemist done here. Encounters. Let's try all these things out see what we got. I haven't done this in ages. Well, we're going to throw this one in for sure. Alright, the Malaclips, the Madman, the uh, Far North. Ah, that's the thing with the Far North. You basically need for the Far North to finish this, you need about 20 food. This map is not good for food. You do like that one, oh don't God. you? Oh God, I love things still in here. The thing is, I put the Maiden in here, so that means that we have like zero choice. <laughs> Uh, this one needs. There's a lot of new things. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna try this one in. This one is a combo. Is a combo. So I have to try these things in at the same time. It actually just ruined the old maiden card a little bit. If you uh, f finish this one, we'll get to that at, point, uh, at some point. But alright, at least that. Oh boy. <laughs> we're not trying the far north in. We're still gonna try the, the, the deadly forest here. I think you need to roll 16, which I haven't managed to do yet. Mm. All right, that's that. Equipment. Throw this stuff out. Holy mace. But if this is a, we're gonna throw them because it's new. But let's see what we what else we got. We can throw that one in. Mm. Do we have any thieves we can fight in any encounter here? No, no. No, no. Oh, actually, I don't know. But I don't think so. No, no, no. Okay. 
So yeah, we don't. I don't think the other ones can do that. Do that either. So we have some new stuff. We'll throw in here. It's fine. Shard. This is one of the few things where you can kill an uh, armored corrupt. Never mind. <laughs> but this one, I'm gonna focus on the wheel. Gamma's jewel is always good to have. It's basically a free buff to your. Uh, Call it. Uh, it's a free buff to your r dice roll. Mm. Actually, I'm not gonna care too much for shards still. Let's see if we can get some food things in here. Quizzes dust armor is fine. Armor gluttony is fine. It's very good actually. <laughs> food bounty is also fine. Well, we want a lot of food, basically. I'm not gonna care too much about the pendulum, I don't think. Nor will I care about corrupted specific things. I do care about new stuff, though. No idea what this does. Just, I can't remember. Okay, try this one in. Um. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take that one. Fitted leather armor. Oh, we only have two. Well, I'd like to pick this up for strength because it gives you one item you can at least upgrade right away for sure. Uh, I wonder if you can use this at strength. Why be worth trying? Even though it ruins the run, the gold run, assuming uh, probably, as you get a really high armor item, but. We actually have a high armor item. Let's filter a uh, type armor. Yeah, we have this one. Alright. Uh, gluttony has yes. something to say about gluttony. How about helmets? No, two of, two of ten. And one fifteen shield right here. Anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're about seven minutes in, likely, yeah, seven all, and then we're gonna get started. Let's go. If you fail to take tokens with you, you will lose the opportunity to open new cards. Even so, too many tokens can weigh you down and make your challenges harder. The chariot is a symbol of control. Taking control of the horses of your emotions and binding them to the chariot of your will. If you can do that, perhaps we can navigate these roads together. All right, I think I'll skip most of this because we've seen it. Basically, we, we have to uh, kill the corrupted to uh, free the city, of the city gates of the plague and save as many villages as we can. So that's it. So just ask some questions, see if we get anything. Don't think so though. I'm just gonna skip through it because we've seen this already. There we go. You get this thing unlocked. Alright. Uh, cat is touching my mouse. Let's move it away a little bit. There we go. Okay. So we have open streets. You can actually scout ahead here. That's nice. That's actually kind of good. So we have a weapon we can use already. Um, let's check the camp. Uh, there's nothing in the camp. There's like not literally nothing in the camp here, so let's go. Right, uh, Church of Corruption. I'm gonna run back because we don't need to fight these yet. Alright, I can see some other paths. Alchemist right here. I'm gonna wait until maybe I can get a helmet. Grateful citizens. Nice. That's eight citizens. I'm also waiting with buying food. Uh, that's carries it to corrupt it. I sh really need a dice roll for this. Apparently the target wasn't 30 as I thought, but m maybe like 31 or 32. So I'm just gonna avoid these um, these events for now. Mm. 
thing is I can't I need to I kinda need to have eight food on me. Alright, let's I really need to get some food. Let's uh, at least have eight food on me at all times. Things I want if I want to use the armor button if I get it. Treasure of corruption. All right, we'll take this one then. Uh, right. Patience. Do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. It's only a few, so. Poorly done. Eh, very poorly done. You must harness your will fine, and though. find the quiet Some stillness you don't do the big, inside you. The big failure, then we're fine. Because then we lose Malak Lips, and I kind of want to use him for the uh, Alchemist. I'm pretty sure you get an extra chance with uh, Malak Lips. Alright. Those. Still running symbol. Jesus, this thing does like no damage. This weapon. I thought this thing was stronger than this. Haha, <laughs> that already down. No, it's not uh, impressed. Not that uh, interesting. For watching me kill some uh, crosses here. Actually, maybe it should be. I'm just thinking. Maybe it's better to uh, not use uh, food. Just let me starve. Ah, no, that's. It might be fine if we do it the end. Of the map. Yeah, okay, let's do that. That's fine. Okay, that's these guys done. We might get drawn a different uh, different number of dudes afterwards. We'll see. Uh, no new no new paths discovered, eh? Uh Dredge of Corruption. It's fine. Five three two, now it's the same. Trying to pick success here, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to lose these. Even on when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. <laughs> Keep practicing. It's fine. We're doing it for the kills. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna artif artificially uh, lengthen this stuff. This might be a short I episode as well. Works. That's that's fine, right? We still have a very shitty amount, of, very shit amount of dudes we've saved at this point. I think it's six, right? I think it's a bit random. Actually, I'm quite sure it's random. It's kind, of, it's seriously random how many of these things you get. These are so delightful easy still. These guys don't have yellow attacks. I have the Malakrim's shield. Oh, I thought I saved him. Get back up. This is an item which actually gives you food if you do combat without losing health. That one is so good. Wish I could have had that one here to use in my deck. Alright, so the corrupted are gone. There's some other streets here. Okay. Okay, now we can use some uh, reinforcements if we so desire. Um, waterfall of youth. Yeah, we're going to visit that. Okay. Ah, uh, good. Good, good, good. It's a 
surprised relieved to see the sisters greet you. Oh, oh wait, there's a new card. I'm so sorry. I just clipped to it. <laughs> You're surprised and relieved to see the sisters greet you at the door. Both full-grown adults. Yvonne greets you with open arms as Yvette sulks in the corner. Thank you for your assistance the other day. As promised, here is the citrine vial. I've already filled it from the waterfall. So, potion of you. Begin of each map, draw a new life game card. Any number of God blessings can be equipped at one time. Yeah, it's a blessing. Nice. Yvonne insists you stay for some pie before you go fresh from the oven. So you get some food, which is great, because now we don't have to use uh, any of that stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. Nothing. An extra two, three. Okay, there's a friend in need. We're going to visit this one first, because I know what it does. Life itself, in exchange for life. All right. As you hike through the mountains on one fine day, you come across an injured traveler. Though he's clearly deeply wounded and barely moving, you sense something disturbing about the cloaked figure and approach with caution. You, mortal, come here, the creature commands, his voice rasping. I need sustenance to heal myself, and you will provide it. You draw your weapon, and the beast weakly raises its arm to defend itself. Spare me, and I will make it worth your while. So ask how. <coughs> Three days ago, I happened to feast upon one of your kind, a holy man of some nature, I believe, who could no doubt cure you of your wounds. Grant me pittance of your blood to restore my strength, and I swear I shall bring him, on him to you. We of the list never break our word. So yeah, I'm gonna accept this offer. As you lower your blade, he suddenly lunges at you. So bam, 30%. Creature continues to draw blood from your arm. That's weight. Another 30. Let's do one more weight. Could you continue to draw blood from your arm? Let's wait one more. Thirteen. Um, shall we wait one more? Let's wait one more. Twenty-five. Then let's throw the creature off. He takes a moment to regain his composure. You will not regret this. I would have recovered at my full strength in time, I've no doubt, but I admit you have been a boon to me this night. He gestures, gestures at the gestures at the darkness, saying, "The humans who dared to think they could best me in combat fall in a clearing to the south. Their ambition was as foolish as their death were quick, but perhaps they had something that would be of use to you." The shadow seems to gather about his person until nothing remains. It's another extra encounter to the deck, a debt repaid. He set out with a flaming torch and soon arrived at the scene of the slaughter. A dozen men armed have been recently purchased here. Among you, the remains you'll find no decent equipment, just the tools of farmers and provincial soldiers. As you leave the carnage, you step on a blade hidden in the shadows of the crowd. To the victor go the spoils. Do not wield a weapon you do not wish to see turned against you one day. So yeah. Um, a weapon is, that's good against um, shadows. So I don't, I don't get shadows, repost this, deals 150 damage. Cost of stun. So, uh, yeah, those are new. Uh, those are new units, we're not gonna see them anymore, I don't think. A reward well earned. See, there we go. So, yeah, no uh, gains there, but we lost all of health. Basically, if you do it four times, you get. You would have gotten a four success uh, card gambit. Um, great, it costs you 75. Yeah, that's three quarters of your life, right? That makes sense. Somewhat, it's probably rounded up and down a little bit, but yeah, basically that. And um, yeah, if you do just once, you get three skulls, one sword, etc., etc. Two, two sh skulls, skulls, two swords. So we did, uh, we did right. Anyway, let's get over here. I want to do this so we can heal a little bit. So, grateful hero. Nice. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. We can uh, kill him a little bit. Uh, do we want to use this five left? No, I'm good. We don't need that. Uh, I do wish I had some more food. But I think. By sea and sun, fate and fain! Alright. Hey, hit me. You got them bastard. Just wanna get this guy out of the way. 
Right. I actually hit the uh, defend button there, but. Ah, he's there. Okay, got new shield. Shame of the lost life, but eh, it should be fine. It should be fine. I hope. <laughs> oh god, if I die on this, it's, it's gonna be sad. But I already unlocked something anyway. So, yeah, he wants to part with some equipment. We got 13 out of 60. Let's see what we got. What kind of equipment do you have? Gambler's Jewel, it's nice, it's very nice. I can't sell my equipment yet, so. Carries of the Departed would help there. Huh. So getting some gold would be good actually. From this, you, we see other parts. But now I'm gonna need one food. Okay. Grateful citizens. Nice. So we have another eight. More food available. Um, I think this gives me more. Let's start with it. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. All right. So let's see if we can uh, help him get the elixir of life finally. I am not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Oh, what? I couldn't pick? Oh, seriously. I guess I can only Missed the second or third. Yeah, Meliclips tells you, are you sure about this? The yellow and blue is actually green, so yeah, that's fine. So it's the second one you can uh, not mess up. Uh oh, no, it's fine. We'll take green. It's still that one. <sighs> so it's two food game cards, that's fine, of course. It's actually kind of good. So now they don't have to worry about food for a while. But still, that elixir of life, seriously. I'm probably gonna get it. Um, yeah. Don't want to buy food yet. Still have a chance for our gluttony. So, yeah. I think we read this already. Basically, you have the Asher. We have to roll, uh, I guess, 32 in total. Back to the bones. I hope you have no. learned to be their master. It's not. A, it's not, not going to be enough unless I roll 18. I think. Still, though, this guess is the gambler's duel. So that's fine. Three sixes. Come on, go. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, 21 gold. Still fine. It's an okay card. Uh, I am going to buy that. Uh, do I want? Let's see. Yeah, there's still deadly forest in here. So let's get this. Nah, I don't need food. No jet. So we have 21 citizens. Let's just aim for the gold now. Uh, let's find these guys. Um, I'll probably use one of these shitty scouts. Yes, let's take some scouts with us. I'm gonna kill that thing first. Uh, it's a pain. I hope this works. Oh, seriously? I actually went to the shield. Is, did it always do that? I can't remember. I seriously, can't remember if it used to do that. <laughs> Can 
do this stun. Okay, let's get this guy back up. Alright, we're good. I don't think we have to be that careful anymore. Just that the, the spire, uh, I don't know. It went through my shield. I'm a big fan. I'm trying to um, bash these guys before using my uh, weapon ability. Because it does like 70 something damage, which is great. This guy can do the yellow attack. Watch me get hit by it. See ya! Alright, so that's one level done. Let's see if we can get these 30 freaking 9 citizens. That'd be great. So there's nothing else in here to get grab at this point, so yeah, let's continue. So potion of life, this is a life gain card, thanks. And now we have plenty of food, so we should be fine for this ma this map here. Or is there... Wait, is there two maps or one map? I, I don't know. I thought it was just two. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, let's go. Plague, okay, sure. Let's save some dudes. Keep them away from me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, I'm just getting this guy out of the way. <laughs> I was so stuck, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh god, that was it's, it's terrible. <laughs> there was an invisible wall of some sorts down there. So <laughs> I didn't hit it all. Uh, long range execution. I actually dodged through this guy. Ooh, there's a little mosquito there. In my face. See ya. Fruit vibe. Where's that guy coming from? Okay. Yeah, grateful. Um, well, could aim for this food. This one. Well, I, I can almost almost do these, <laughs> but that's fine. Life's fine too. Care about the citizens. That should help. That's. <coughs> Five citizens. I've got 19 food. Let's see if we can find a maiden, that'd be great. Is that the maiden? Is that the, if that's the maiden, that's funny. Ah, uh, listen, trade. Um, okay. So, I'll see the rest of the wares. Anyway, Malikov teach the weapons merchant. Carriage tucked away in this shady spot of town. Esmeralda has a bit of soft spot for me, uh, so I should be able to fetch us a good price, he says, roughing the carriage door. By the gods, Malaclips, weren't you excused, executed for that cat and the crowbar to get the debacle? Debacle? Says Esmeralda as she was she in. Asks to see the rest of her wares. She kicks a panel under her seat and a secret compartment opens, unveiling a st the stock she has to offer. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. So this thing rerolls twos and fives and you can do a wager if you have full life at the end. Um, yeah, it's alright. The two and fives is okay, but rerolling the fives, that's not, not that great. Um, gluttony is, of course, very nice. Uh, this is High Priestess Plus, so <laughs> it's, 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 it's useless. Mm. I think Arm of Gluttony is, at this point, better than Adesia's Charm. Yeah, let's, let's do that. How about we make a deal, she says. The bells on the rope tingle, tinkle as she leads you to the door, pressing the equipment into your arms. In a few moments, soldiers are going to storm through and raid my respectable establishment. You take this for free, and I run. Yes. 
shouts echo up the alleyway, spooking the carriage horses. So it's all dudes. Oh, thank you! As Mulder pushes you out of a carriage and into the alleyway, you find yourself completely surrounded by Empire guards. To be expected. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no. What do I need to do? I think I need to break the blocks. Oh. There's one cat on my keyboard all the time. One time, one day she's gonna stop the recording, and it's gonna be a sad day. So yeah, we're. Um, if nothing else, I'll get a song out of this. Yeah. Oh, the cats again. Surprise. Thirsty can't see anything. <laughs> Whoa, this thing died fast. I wanted to get the block. Okay, nice. That's one. That helps. That's one. Another one, yeah, that's another one. Nice. Don't think I can get another one in. So I don't wanna interrupt this guy. He needs to face me and then I have to attack him. Ah, oh, this one. It's fine. I think we still got like three in or something. Phalanx of steel is much better for this. Still, though, we have some chance. I think the last fight is. Yeah, this is on part two, right? As Mondo whips her horse and carriage into motion, she waves at you as she, as, as, she as, as she escapes. You scavenge what you can from the dead. So that's 10 life. And token. She looks worse. What we're doing it for? Huh. I'm a gluttony, so I guess it's two more foot. Let's see. Um, I believe. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but we can do buy, buy one food here. Thanks. Get out. Finish trading. Bring camp. Guess it's two extra food. So it's one food. It's three food for uh, one gold. That's why I wanted to not buy anything until we got here. You have to do this. Very tedious little thing, but I think it's worth it. So let's let's do this little cheese here. Gives us gives us like a billion food here, so we can uh, buy these paupers off like immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you want food? Sure. Got plenty of that. Uh, 20 t uh, 27. We need about... Um, about 16 food for this. So... Still a ways off. It doesn't help if I e accidentally eat food all the time. We're gonna run into some of these fires and you can't predict them, so revealing stuff is actually kinda shit on this. It would be great if you could see that fire coming, but yeah, it happens uh, live. Da -da -da. That's another two food. Thank you. I don't think it's supposed to work actually, I thought they fixed it, but. Now you have to actually get out of the, uh, the encounter, sort of. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I had the uh, <laughs> the thing north now because this is a good good amount of food for this. <laughs> look, look at this. Gain two food or one food in endless after every encounter in which you receive the gain card. Excludes the camp encounter. Well, snap. What's this then? I guess it's because it's rescue wagons and not f not camp that it works. <laughs> I don't know, but. Uh, they might patch it uh, like uh, in <laughs> between now and, and, and in the future, but we'll see. Alright, some fire here, that's fine. Let's go over here, it's gonna be some drudge of corruption at some point. Ah oh, no, this is fine. Old Maiden will be great. Another fire, sure. Dirge of Corruption. I'm gonna skip this for now. We'll do that one last, it's not a hurry. Alright. 
I'm feeling that's uh, very unlucky with the map, ain't I? I'm still about 20, f 30 freaking four of them. Oh my god. Well, let's start with this one. Okay, let's see if we can. Oh god. I'm just going to go easy way here. <laughs> Breathe. You have done well. Now I've, I've done average. Uh, right. See a Malaclips. Good night, you. <laughs> my God. Sometimes these gambits, I just can't do them. Like this Alchemist one in my main save. It took me like seven or eight tries. Was ridiculous. It's so bad. Right. Alright, so that one's done. Now we can just kill these things. That's another one done. Roll it away a little bit to avoid getting hit by random boots. I should do the ones with the big yellow attacks first, but. Hold on. Your cat is in the way again. <laughs> like right in front of the screen, so. Okay. Thing is, she wants to play outside, but there's some work being done next to us. So once the doors open, she's gonna be scared as fuck. It's like, oh man, I regret everything. So, yeah, not letting that happen. Alright, so only one yellow arm's left. Done. Give us... No, there's no dudes here. One path. Not the drudge. I think it is. Okay, that's fine. Sure, I'm full health again. Okay. With this much food, I mean, defense is actually kind of good. <laughs> Forgot about that little detail. Careful, little kitty. Ah, no, Alright. It's like a gun. I'll attack. Oh, missed. I could have hit. Yeah, what's water here? That's why I got hit there, wasn't it? Okay, that's season of the five, I think. Uh, I don't know. Some food? Here's some gold. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. That's fine. I don't know. Uh, I'm dead anyway. Alright, so 31. I need 20 freaking nine more. <laughs> how's that, how's that even gonna work? Alright, it gives us two extra food. No new paths. There's nothing here. This gives nothing. Literally, is no point doing that encounter. Oh, okay, unless you have to get past. I guess we have to get past because uh, there's nothing else there. I think I have probably like four opportunities left. I wonder what happens if Malaxips is dead. I'm just gonna kill two if I can. 
I do say that, but I keep failing this. <laughs> oh, I got it. Got it. Ah, oh, close though. Still fine. <laughs> What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. Four remaining? Yeah, sure, let's throw one of these guys in there. These are, uh, it's like nine, I don't know. Yeah. Nine guys? Maybe eight or ten? Five plus four plus one? Yeah. Only ten, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. By sea and sun, fate and fame! <laughs> Mostly the scouts help in there. Grateful hero. Nice. No. This is fine. This is like eight of them. Like seven of them. And we have these guys to help us out, man. I hope this works! Some dude to toil. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> Just dodge that one. Yeah. Why am I doing so much? There's not many ways to get extra damage that, that I know of, at least. But I'm pretty sure I do 78 damage normally if. Uh, this should do 78. Oh, yeah, now it does. That's weird. Maybe get a oh, maybe to get a boost if they're uh, hunched up. That surprised me. There's a the mechanic in there. Thank you. No problem. There we go. And a grateful hero. Thanks. But still, this is only like four again. It's so bad. Just imagine if these things didn't join you, if they got damaged. <laughs> oh god. That's just terrifying. Anyway, more equipment. Ah, deadly forest over there. Alright. Anything else? I could get the gambler's hood, maybe. If, if it's for still in here. But I'll probably save that one for last. I, uh, it ups the chance just a little bit. Well, speaking of devil. Let's get that in there. For those who wager, and those who win. I made a terrible mistake. I need gold. <laughs> oh well. Okay, more fire. But look at this. It's, it's terrible. 20, 36? I need 24 more. It's never gonna happen. But it's like a top's like what? Like four? These things left? The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. I think it's time based, the uh, fire things or random. Just have a chance to get it. Ah, missed again. Uh. And I think there's also. Oh, I could have used those. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, so this is gonna be not a, a lack of gold token, but. Um, I don't know. It's just not lucky. Because we're doing everything right. By we have sea and sun, all the food ready to 
deal the deal with it, but you just get really unlucky. Super buff fighter, so. Okay, this is easy enough. Um, Unfortunately, this still doesn't give me anything. <laughs> so, so buffs. God darn it. Alright, see all the pots. That's fine. This should give us some stuff. Grateful merchant. Okay, good. That's eight citizens. We can now sell in stuff at the campfire. Cool. The madman is over there. Uh, I can't remember what you need to do for that. Sell some items at some point. We can probably sell my um, armor. This one. Oh, this one for sure. Get out of here. I'll uh, hold on for a little bit more. citizens. If there's no hungry paupers here. Old maiden. Okay. Well, that's nice. We can uh, do the old maiden one for free. So let's do that one first. Can you claim this token? Yes, we can. Walking through the shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries, I have helped the mortals to find themselves lost in my forest. But not once it has one helped me. You have something I desire. Give it to me and I, in exchange I will offer you something no mortal has ever beheld. So give her the potion of youth. That's what we're gonna do. See ya. She passed the entire content of the vial in her mouth. So that's three tokens, nice. And now we get the maiden. So yeah, you get a platinum card. That's that's why it's actually more of a nerf, because you can only get a limited number of these guys in there. While uh, the maiden in itself, in the original form, is actually good. It ju just gives you a food gain gold gain on life max life gain card and it's not the case anymore anyway without moments moments the potion takes effect the old woman transforms into a youthful maiden i thank you for your generosity mortal now i may continue helping your kind for centuries more please take my offering could be that you get an item too by the way elven ring at the beginning of every new map draw one pleasant <sighs> card their days came and went the world has left them behind this is a decent one though. decent ring pretty good so um I'm gonna ask for gold, I believe. I have this. I will not meet, need more, so yeah, let's, let's get gold. We'll get uh, two, 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 two cards from this. That's 34, that's fine. Oh my god, he gives me some food. Alright, hungry poppers, give it to me. There's nothing. It's so unlucky. It's unbelievable. Oh, there's one over there. Left, okay, maybe here. Is it this one yet? Ah, oh, that's it. Okay, good. We got it. We got it. We got all of them. Nice. All right. So, what first, the madman or deadly forest? Well, I know I need gold for deadly forest and luck with the. Well, this thing is not for gonna do anything for us. 41. I think that's fine. Unless I roll really shittily, which 
seems unlikely with this. I should be able to roll at least like nine. If I don't roll nine, I'm gonna be sad as freaking hell. Yeah, let's go in there. First, we have to get uh, this roll done. All right, sixteen. Go. Well, that's as good. Like my gambler's hood actually gives me something. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, much better. Not good still, but you can only do that in the first roll. Oh my freaking god! Oh, one, just one. Uh, that one, seriously, it's very important. It gives you a really good item and a huge ass quest chain at the end. So, oh wait, man, man, let's see if we can let, let, unlock this one. So we should have the gold. <laughs> unless they we die. say madness can be a blessing. <coughs> Not I, however. I would never be so thoughtless. I think this is the last one of the chain as well. Anyway, the journey comes with some confusion regarding logistics and food. What do children even eat? Meliklips had cried. <laughs> In the end, you managed to bring the mage children safely to the madman near the frost fort. Their home is an ominous building with high gates, barred windows and a faint screaming coming from within. <laughs> it passes as an asylum disquietingly well. Right, we'll ju just drop these um, little munchkins off and be on our way to get that cure. Maliklips leads you a ragtag bunch to the main door before turning you to you and saying seriously, please perform the secret knock. <laughs> you don't even know, actually know the secret knock, and I think these bogeys are hilarious. Anyway, knock a tune. Maliklips wipes an imaginary tear from his eye. Beautiful. Simply a masterpiece. It wasn't the secret knock, but I accept it anyway. Whoa, one second. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> then he merely pushes open the locked doors. <laughs> You're met by two tall men, identical twins, dressed in pattern nine patterned nightgowns. Ara the Veil told us you'd be coming, one of the twins says. I'm Baron, this is Mary. They call us the mad men, but it is only a name. They shove your sign and hurry the children indoors. We're good swords, aren't we, Barry? His twin nods as he brushes the children's hair and hands them nightgowns. Yes, indeed. But sometimes I forget w forget we're merely acting, and I do mad things like setting that farm on fire. Keeps the rubble off a trail, though, doesn't it? Mary nods as he brings out a plate of warm spiced breads. As the children warily settle down to eat spiced breads, bread and butter, breads and butter, Mary asks you a favor. We need your help clearing out this place. Hasn't been an orphanage for a long time, has it? Not fit for children. The monsters and the burning room, Mary. Barry notes while cutting carrots. So we can kill kill the monster or extinguish the burning room. This is sad way extinguishing the burning room. You approach the stairs. A man in rags pushes rushes past the barrels into an adjacent room. He peers at you with mad eyes. Let me free that, Mary says behind you. He kept trying to climb Fort Fort Ford's clock tower, so they send him in here. He's harmless. Frida slams the door closed, then open, then closed again. You arrive at the burning room. The room is literally on fire. Everything has been reduced to uh, ash inside. Somehow the magic is magic is keeping the fire contained within. I think I can actually die on this. So it'd be very, very shit if we do. Anyway, that's my clips what to do. Mage shrugs. Perhaps that's the answer. <laughs> he points to a chubby lizard-like creature the size of a small dog. It watches you cautiously from the corner of the room. A fire salamander hatchling at that. I'd have thought them long extinct. Well, let's try to placate the flame creature. So yeah, if you walk in, you just get damaged, I think. But this is not much better either. <laughs> this one? Uh, not quite. Little lizard panics. Its cheeks bulge and it glances about furtively. Suddenly it belches fire over you and your companion, singing your hair and eyebrows. That's some help lost. Let's try it again. Fire creature stares at your offer but refuses to budge. Oh shit, it said something else. Oh my god. Just feed it. Okay, huge success. 
Yaku went off a cake to the fat little lizard. Intrigued, it waggles over to the doorframe, licking its lips. You notice the flame re flames recede as it approaches. It stifles a burp and spits a piece of equipment onto the ground. Then, it's, then the item sizzles on the floorboards. So you get a free item. Okay. I think we're fine with our current armor. Don't need this. The fires have been extinguished, but the foam continues. The, f the room continues to smoke and smolder. Okay. With the salamander calm, the flames recede and the room becomes cool enough to enter. The chubby creature clambers up your necks and snuggles into your arms, gibbering softly to itself. The little beast gags and convulses into your arms until, with a tiny squeak, it coughs up an item and drops painfully onto your toe. So you get some damage, but you get an item as well. So you get two items. <laughs> a weapon of blessings and questions. Yeah, it's. No. <laughs> Thanks. On the advice of Malaclips, those ones are prone to spontaneous combustion. You release the little creatures out creature outside. It gives your palm a warm little lick before it patters away to the cliffs nearby. With that dealt with, you return to the kitchen. Mary boils uh, boil sheets in a massive steel vat while his brother prepares radishes for the stew. Their tummy is full of warm bread. The children find comfortable the children find comfortable spots around the kitchen to nap. So let's go kill the monster. Barry leads you down to the cellar door. It's in here. I've had to resort to going down to town to buy our pickled vegetables. They scream like little banshees when I ask them what blood they've pickled them in, though. Very close to the door behind you. You follow the st steps deep beneath the fortress into the roof until you find yourself in, the, in an underground cave. You hear a guttural moan. That's a terrible night. It's uh, not that impressive. So it's not the end yet of this quest chain, I don't think. I think there's one, one or two more parts after this. So it's getting really close to unlocking Malaclip's full potential. But um, shh. Yeah, this is. Uh, Every time I visit this place, I end up doing stupid things. Oh, he missed. Such a shame. Okay, got it. You poke at the dead thing to see if it holds any treasure, but find nothing of, of value. Malakops rubs his shoulders nervously as he gazes into the monk creature's cold dead eyes. Right. Well done. Got that done. With the problems resolved, the madman insists you stay for supper. Seated on opposite ends of a comically long dining table, you shout conversation at, e they sh you shout conversation at each other. <laughs> Malakops takes takes quickly and joy relief to the shouting. Ask how they know Malaclips. Yes, Malaclips stole some scrolls from the orphanage once. The part chokes on his, into his ball. The madman seemed nonchalant about the, tra about the transgression. You were just a boy, but it doesn't make it right. We like those scrolls back sometimes. But <laughs> I'll your opinion on the Empire. General calamity, isn't it, Barry? Barry shouts as he hands out a hunks of bread. Barry nods. I wouldn't think they were they were so bad if only they they didn't try to kill all of us magic folk. But to mention what I did to those poor lizardmen, I remember. Barry continues, when my silk trail was a lizardman, now they're all dead, except for the bloke hiding in the city. Weren't Malaclips bellows back? Out. Were well, weren't Malaclips bellows back? Weren't the lizardmen wiped out centuries ago? Barry scratches his crooked nose. At least you think he did. He's still very far away. <laughs> yes, it has been a while, has it? Compliment the stew. You yell like a rough table that the stew is delicious. What? Mary shouts back. He says there's too much carrot in the stew. Stew. Malaclips <laughs> joins in. The men and men look at, at each other confused. No, we can't marry you. <laughs> yes, I will marry you. Malaclips replies. He reaches for his loot. It's real arms kit's wood. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Alright, finish the supper. As you finish your stew, Malaclips brings out his loot. After the second song, the madman politely suggests that it's time for you two to leave. The children, gi the children giggle at the part's silent indignation. With the mage turtle and peering out from behind them, the madman near forced for forced forward wave goodbye from the front door. As the door closes, your companion collapses on his hands and knees, blood oozing from his mouth. He pulls himself wearily to his feet and groans, The cure can't come soon enough, coin slave. Did we get a token? We did, right? Yeah, it's gone. Okay, good. I was <laughs> I forgot it. So yeah, we got a token of that. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's head in here.
Okay, uh, we're just gonna skip through Perhaps this. You face We've death, seen this. Yet you do it in the name of truth. Maybe difference. Thanks a little bit. My thanks to you, she said with a smile. I doubt we could have done anything more for the people of your city. That's what uh, the old thing is. So we're gonna find some of these dudes. By the decree of the emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. City. Not the safe passage. I guess you get like all these bonus heroes. It's so nice. All right. Um, just a few ways we could go some more of these uh, these these guys with shields. I'm gonna see if I can get I them to block the justice, bit. not simply as I'm ordered. If this is how it must be, so be it. Yeah, there you go. That's one. <laughs> They're impressive. Then not that one again. That one is that one's broken. Yeah, it's another one. They turned slightly yellow. That's why I know uh This that there's it, there it is. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one guy. Yeah. Yeah, got it. I don't care. You can hit me all you want. I think we're pretty much done now. We can kill this. Oh. I hope this works. Oh, that's hello, friend. He's a friend. There we go. Okay, so he's enough. Not a lot of tokens done, so uh, that's nice. It's good to have uh, one of these in between little things in between. Anyway, we just def we friended the trail again. <laughs> Something else growing from within. So yeah, we got it. There we go. Now you begin to climb every barrier I put before you. Ha! I am pleased. For rescuing all the citizens in the old city. Grunka's Quake, Grith's Companion. That one is the one I so desperately <laughs> need. It's unbelievable. <laughs> that one is so good. This will help us. <laughs> But we're gonna do strength next, so let's hope, oh god, that we get that uh, that armor requirement there. Okay, so we have four tokens ish. Save, giving you a life to save an injured troll. We get knight sword with a token. For taking heat for Esmeralda the merchant, we get merchant's favor with platinum card. For restoring the maiden to a true form, we get the maiden. And finally, for making the madman, making the madman's orphanage livable for orphans, we get the cure. So this is probably the last uh, part of this. So yeah, this um, all in all rather successful run. <laughs> We've got uh, five tokens, but it's been a while since we had five, I think. Next up is uh, oh God. I might die on this. If we do, we'll just move on to the wheel. Go from there. This year, I only want to. Once. If I fill the wheel again, I'll start with strength again. Well, no, I'll do this one just as first and go to back to strength. Basically, you want to gold everything at some point. But, um, yeah, I'm not in a hurry. I don't think we actually used Yubi even once, did we? Yeah, I think once. The uh, little goblin companion thing. Well, anyway, uh, next up is going to be strength again. So let's see if we can uh, beat this one this time. It's a uh, it's a painful little uh, little fight, that, but we'll see. Anyway, so thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time. Bye bye.